Hey everyone, it's Laurel. Today I wanted to talk quickly about using digital scrapbooking products in your traditional paper crafting projects. So um, lately I've been using a lot of digital journaling cards and even some embellishments and printing them out and using them in mini albums or project life type page protector spreads. Um, and there are a couple of advantages to using uh, digital products versus pre-printed journaling cards or stuff like that. So with the digital scrapbooking projects, normally you can um, you know print them out and use them as many times as you want in your personal crafting projects. Um, another thing is ease of use like if you want to print your journaling onto your journaling card before you print it out it's much easier to do if you have like you know a digital file versus trying to you know tape your journaling card to a sheet of paper and run that through your printer um, it you'll see that it, it is very easy to do with a, a digital image type card so um, this is a set of journaling cards or filler cards that I've designed and this is a 50 state set And these are the individual PNG files. They also come in PDF, six to a sheet. So you can um, go ahead and print the PDF out with no manipulation whatsoever. They're ready to go sized on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So you can print it on pretty much any printer that you have available to you. But if you don't want to print out all of these cards at once, you would go ahead and you would use these PNG files. So if I want to print, and there are, there are several programs that you can use, um, you know, to print with, to print these cards out. You can use like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. You can even do it um, in like your Silhouette Studio if you use a Silhouette machine. But today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Word to do this because a lot of people have Microsoft Word already on their computers. So I'm using Microsoft Word 2010 here. So if I just wanted to print out say this one Hawaii card here, I could just drag this onto my blank document and you can see that it's right here. Now page, not all page protectors are created equal. so you may these are sized at exactly three by four some um, page protector sheets you have to size them down maybe just a little bit so if you click on format here you can go ahead and change it uh, if you size it to like 2.9 that generally will fit um, most page protectors but um, with any image, it's always better to have a larger file and size down than to have a smaller image and make it bigger. So they are sized to three by four. And if you if you know that your particular brand of card, you know that a three inch card is a little bit of a tight fit, you can go ahead and change this to two point nine. Um, so now you can go ahead and print out this one card if you want. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to print my journaling directly onto the card and it's really easy with these digital images because I can just go ahead and grab a text box and I just want to use this simple text box and I can place it directly over my card. Now you can see that my text box is not transparent so I have to do a couple of things to this box. So. The first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the white background. So this little paint bucket here, I'll just say no fill and you can see that I can see through my text box now. There's also a line here around my text box so I want to get rid of that too. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and this shape outline with the pencil if I drop that down I can say no outline so you can see that now there's just text 
So the other thing I can do is change the justification. So I want this to be centered. So I'm going to click the center button. So now um, I can just go ahead and type my journaling here. And then I can go ahead and I can print this one card with my journaling on or I can um, go ahead and put a couple more cards on this sheet before I print it out. Um, you know, just so that I'm not wasting paper or anything. Um, but, so this is, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use these products here. And if you have a JPEG or PNG file from, you know, scrapbook, digital scrapbooking products, you can use this same process to print them out and even type your journaling on them if you want to. So, um, in a future video I'll show how I'll show you how you can also do this in Photoshop Elements and in your Silhouette Studio software. But um, I thought I'd start with Microsoft Word since most people do have this available to them on their computers. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.